Hey beautiful people, welcome to My Body Talk Show. I am your host, Celia Lee, also the founder of My Body. So this episode is mainly for ladies. However, gents, stay there, stay there, don't go. If you're tuning in, keep listening because this is actually going to be valuable. You can share this with your sister, niece, daughter, wife, girlfriend, uh, female friends, female colleagues, with female associates, yeah, because this is all about being a baddie. This is my guide to being a baddie. Your baddie 101. So ladies, is you a baddie? I'm a baddie. Is she a baddie? Because you a baddie. <laughs> all right, keep listening. All right, so for those who don't know what baddie means, it doesn't mean you're a villain. It's not that kind of baddie. Here's a definition of a baddie. A baddie is a lady who is confident, a sexy badass bitch, got her shit together, knows what she wants, got all the good qualities that every guy wants, and is always slaying the game, and is always looking on fleek. Basically, a girl that is extremely put together, looks mm, amazing even on her off days. Basically, she's the bomb. You get me? So here are my seven tips in being a baddie. Number one, confident. Be confident. So when you walk in a room, walk in with confidence. Because that makes a whole difference. If you walk in, like, there's some people who walk into the um, to a room or restaurant, whatever. The first thing what they do is they look around with the rounded shoulders and they think, and then they will get their phone out and just to look in, just to get themselves distracted. Try this. Next time you walk into a restaurant or a room, don't have the phone in your hand. Just walk, shoulders back, chest out, look around, scan the room. So how can you build confidence? Number one, date yourself. Meaning, go to take yourself on a dinner date, go cinema by yourself. Um, basically, do things that you would do for your partner, right? And another one is taking yourself on a holiday. So solo trip telling you solo trip is the most empowering experience I've ever had and I'm addicted to it um I say addicted to it I've only done it twice but I love it I'm already already thinking about my next three four five six seven eight nineteen solo solo trips (laughs) anyway so another thing that is good for building confidence is doing something out of your comfort zone I always say this if you're um scared or not sure about it just go do it if I'm not sure about something or as in I'm be like, oh, is it worth the risk? Da, da, da. I always take the risk and go do it because you know why? I don't want to have any what if, what ifs. I'll just go do it. All right. Number two, take care and love yourself. A baddie loves herself. She knows her worth. She knows her value. And also a baddie would take care of herself, which is why she's always looking so good. Right. So way to take care and love yourself is fitness so ladies working on your body is taking back your power i want you to think of this way when you're insecure of your body your body is controlling you take that power back don't let it control you it can serve you but not control you so when you start working out taking care of yourself obviously not just for vanity reason but also for vitality reason When you feel good on the inside, you also will look good on the outside. Yeah. And other way to show love to yourself. I always say this, eating well, put quality food into your body to nourish your temple. Your body is your temple because it's serving you, right? So you got to show it love. And finally, self-care because you deserve it because you're a baddie. So you deserve to be taking care of yourself, get your nails done. And pampering yourself and all of that. Number three, know your shit. Educate yourself. So that means, yet yeah, read books. Or if reading is not for you, do Audible. Educate yourself. When I say read books, I don't mean read fiction books. I mean, you can. But on top of that, do read non-fiction. Be it philosophy, um, finance, um, relationships, self-development, all of that stuff, read them. 
they will help you but however obviously as much you can read all, all of the books you want to listen to all the podcasts you want oh yeah another one listen to podcasts um educational ones um you can listen to all the podcasts and read the books if you don't apply it it's not going to make any difference so soak all the information in and practice it and another one when it comes to educating yourself learn a new skill or skills because remember ladies it's not just a pretty face we want with beauty and brains number four kind of similar to number three is be an expert of your own body now what i mean by that is um let's say for example diet okay by the way when i say diet i don't mean restricting food i'm just mean like the diet you're eating habit okay do what works for you what works for someone may not work for you it's by individual so let's say you go on a keto diet whether it's to lose weight or for health reason or whatever and you find that why is it not working for me but it's working for another person because it's by individual so basically what i'm trying to say is here explore explore what works for you find out what food agrees with your body and what doesn't yeah and also same with working out fitness is by individual you might not like running if you don't enjoy that don't do it do what works for you maybe it could be doing yoga it's not always have to do it but have um be sweating lots or having be like have an intense workout to feel you had a good workout yoga also does a great job yeah all well, that cool work yeah in fact we ladies we can't be doing hit all the time because of our menstrual cycle that's another topic another episode for that anyway and when you know your body you will develop that confidence within your body yeah just say just think of anything like when you're an expert in anything you do you be confident in it right same with your body you know how your body works you know how to work your body and number five have boundaries baddies have boundaries baddies have no problem saying no put yourself first when i say boundaries not only is it about being comfortable saying no when you mean no also mean like let's say you want some Let's say, for example, um, you you actually carve some time between 7 a.m. or to 8 a.m., for example, is your time. That is strictly your time. You put the do not disturb or turn your phone off. Things like this, yeah? And I keep saying this. I know you've heard this a lot from me. Be your true authentic self and don't dim your light to make other people feel comfortable. That's what makes you a baddie. All right. Number six, tap into your feminine energy. Now, we all have the masculine and the feminine energy. Same with men, okay? But what I mean by tapping into feminine energy is slowing down. It's not always have to be do, 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 get, think, get shit done, get, get shit done. Obviously, when you're work mode, get, you, you be in your masculine. But at the same time, you can also be in your feminine energy when you're working. Have that balance. Know how to balance it. Embrace your sensuality. You are a baddie. You is a baddie. Of course, you're sexy. So just be comfortable and brace and sensuality. And finally, your mindset. Very important. So in the beginning, I said walk into a room, scan the room, walk into the room with confidence. So basically, you want to walk in or whatever you're doing, believe you are a baddie. You are what you believe. That's it. You are what you believe. If you believe you're not a baddie, you believe you're not sexy, you believe you're not worth it. You're right. You're not. I saw this video on Instagram the other day. Um, it was saying that you need to start practicing being that person that you want to become. So you need to start rewiring your brain. So, for example, when you wake up, there's certain habits you may need to start changing to develop, to become that person. Um, let's say one simple thing. <laughs> Uh, um, making your bed some people actually don't make their bed wake up the first thing you do make your bed do you know what I mean small habits um, how would that person that you want to become would think how would they talk you know things like that so once you start practicing it your body your brain would then start to get used to it and you eventually will become that version that you want to become all right people that's it for now thank you so much for tuning in and i hope you enjoyed it i hope you found it useful share it to your loved ones and i will speak to you soon love you lots <laughs>